Welcome to 302 Andover, Unit 163. Over there is where you will, you have your defined parking spot under that cover. And over here is the entryway. So nice little area here, nicely landscaped around here. Here's the Unit 163. So it's a one bedroom, one and a half bath, which is a nice size. 800 square feet, has tile floor and kind of a tile, the tiles put up there as the um, baseboard as well. Uh, nice, it's in great shape, so there's no carpet. Um, nice front window here. Here's your living area, very generously sized. There's your eat-in kitchen. Um, over there is a little desk. The furniture that is here, this chair, uh, the love seat, and the end tables, along with a full bedroom suite, are available and come included with this unit. So, once again, this little area here I love because, you know, it's kind of wasted space, it seems. I've seen people put big cabinets in here, build a pantry here. I've also seen people actually build in uh, indoor laundry here, stack the washer and dryer here because on the other side of that wall is a bed, uh, bathroom. So you have the plumbing already there. Put the um, put a cabinet there and, and close it all like it was built right in. It looks fabulous. This is um, kitchen has original cabinets, but they're painted really nicely. So they have a really nice look to them. They've updated the poles and updated the um, all of the hinges, so it looks really nice. So, like I said, original cabinets, they're, they're in great shape. They've been painted very nicely, so um, bottom line is they're in great shape. Now, I do, do want to point out there is no uh, dishwasher in this unit. Um, there's the uh, washer or the uh, a microwave here the stove, refrigerator, and there's a washer and dryer. This so it has a little bit of an open concept. Just to kind of point out, I've seen people, this is not a load bearing wall. I've seen people take this wall completely out of here on both sides, here and there, and build a little island there with seating as well, which is a really nice improvement. But at 125 or 126, um, sorry, 125, uh, you have plenty of room to make those kind of adjustments. So this kind of gives you an idea. I've seen people put a TV entertainment center there, build it, use that area uh, for a desk. Uh, so there's a lot of space here. Even though it's only a one bedroom, you could easily have a um, sleeper sofa there and, you know, get one of those little screens um, so that when you do have guests and they stay overnight, they kind of have a little private area there. Um, and there is, as I said, a, a half bathroom here. So on the right, a little coat closet, but here on the left is the half bath. So this is where your guests would be. So you have a nice little uh, vanity here, toilet. Um, so, you know, that's all you really need, but that's all been updated. And here is the, the one, bed, ba one bedroom. Uh, large pieces of furniture in here. This is a king size bed, big, huge dresser here on the right, a uh, nightstand over there, but this is an enormous bed. All of this comes with it and you still have plenty of room. There's a closet along the whole wall there, just as a side note, and you as we'll take a peek out there on the lanai, that's where the washer and dryer are. I have seen people built them in here into the closet area as well so that they're not outside. So that is also another option. Um, here is your master bath. So you have the similar updates as, as you did in the other half bath, uh, a small uh, sink, toilet, and a low step over shower. It's in great shape. There's grab bars for, uh, you know, getting in and out. Um, but yeah, really nice, really nicely updated. So no worries there. And then we'll take a quick walk outside. There is a sliding glass door onto a screened lanai. As I mentioned, this is where the um, 
washer and dryer currently are. So this is outside, this is outside space. It's, it's screened in. They've got these faux um, leaves and branches here that kind of give you a little privacy from everybody else. So it's kind of nice. Um, there are sun shades over there. So when it gets too hot, you could lower those down and still see through. Now, one thing I do want to point out, because it's not obvious, this is a double door here. So there are actually two doors here. They unclip at the top. So th if you took all of this down and you had a golf cart, those doors could open up and you can park your golf cart in this area when, you know, overnight or when you're gone. If you're a snowbird, whatever, you can just bring that in. So both of those doors on that end open. You could roll a golf cart directly in there. Um, so yeah, great little unit. Let's just walk right back through. Personally, I wouldn't want to do my laundry outside, but if you're here in the winter, it's actually gorgeous outside if you're only a snowbird. Um, so yeah, big, huge bed. You could have a lot more space in this room if you uh, made the bed smaller, but you really don't need to. So it's still a very generously sized unit comes with the table, wind, uh, blinds and curtains on the window. So it's very light and airy, just feels, you know, very roomy. So even though it's uh, just a one bedroom, one bath, you could see how you could easily turn that into a, um, have a sofa bed right there and have people, you know, staying overnight, put a little screen, one of those privacy screens there for, um, overnight and just tuck it away as a piece of decor. So yeah, great little unit. Like I said, priced at 125 uh, in the sought after community of Kings Point. We are a hop, skip and a jump away from the uh, North Clubhouse. You could easily walk there from here. Um, maybe it's a half a mile, but really nice unit. Stop by, check it out. Come and see it in person. You, you won't understand the space until you've actually walked through it yourself. Thank you.